Did you feel like you played a part in his fumble, or did he just kind of lose it? Yeah, I'm, I, to be honest, I don't really don't. The adrenaline of what's happening, I think I got a, a left hand might have hit it on the way through. I was trying to wrap him up. Um, he could have just missed Bobbitt as well, but either way, it's a touchdown. And then it just goes flying out toward mm -hmm. your end zone. Yeah. Uh, what was going through your mind as you were approaching the ball and getting ready to scoop? Yeah, man, I was really praying for a good bounce, man, and I got one. Uh, I popped up right in my hands, man, like a shortstop, and I was able to just to grab it and go. So, uh, yeah, it was a pretty good bounce. Hey, how does this moment feel compared to how you might have imagined it? Yeah, man. Um, man, I actually had a dream about scooping the score and winning the Super Bowl, like probably like two days, two nights ago. So uh, for it to happen, man, just it's surreal, man. And, um, again, man, I just thank God, man. I thank my family, uh, teammates, coaches, community, uh, Chiefs, Keenum, man. All of them played a part uh, in this game. This went for sure. What, you, what goes through your mind now that you guys have won another Super Bowl? It's a true statement. <laughs> Uh, that's all I can say on that. Uh, this is my first time playing in this game, so uh, I really can't speak about the past uh, past ones, but I've uh, been able to play in this game, and um, the guys been around here, um, coaches, uh, Coach Reed, man, best to do it. Um, so, yeah. We know that guy's going to come in and give, give us 100%. Uh, I think he mentioned earlier in the week that if they let him play, he's going to play. Um, that's kind of like the mindset he had. Um, I know in this game, this matter too, uh, he's going to put everything he had on the table, man, and uh, just see where it went from there. And um, we understood that uh, Pat was a little bit dinged up, so on defense probably had to find a way to get, get another turnover if we could or, or try to generate some negative plays and uh, try to get him the ball back. So uh, he was able to gut it out, man, another gutsy win for him. I'm just getting here, but can you describe your touchdown and just the feeling on it? Yeah, man, uh, it was a surreal moment, man. And, um, again, I really wasn't, I guess, I guess, I guess so in the moment of uh, – Scoring a touchdown in the Super Bowl, more so if we had nine minutes left in the second quarter. So um, that's what my mindset was on it, man. Uh, it was exciting, man, and uh, I was happy to get a, a touchdown for our team, man. We needed it, uh, but uh, my mindset was on we got a lot of football left to play. I think you mentioned on Monday like, during the opening night yeah. that you guys needed to put pressure on our hearts. Is that, was that the game plan to force it? Go after um, it's kind of mixed a, a, mix, uh, a little bit of both, uh, playing a little bit of zone pressure, a little bit of man. Um, again, they, they got great wideouts on the outside, wrapping on the ball well as well. Um, and their whole line is great, so you really can't sit there and just pressure all day. You can get one person at the gap and stuff like that. So we was mixing up a little bit, just trying to give them a bunch of different looks, man. And um, see can confuse them one or two times, and uh, just find a way to get some negative plays as well. Nick, Nick first guy shoulder on his defense because everybody talked about how physical could, uh, the defense uh, of the Eagles can become, but you really came out in the first quarter and, and really hit some hard times. Yeah, um, yeah. Physicality of this game is going to be huge. I, I mentioned earlier in the week that it's going to rely a lot on the bigs. Uh, then it's also going to be O line, D line, and essentially linebackers uh, and, and nickels uh, versus their slot receivers and running backs. So uh, the physical part of that game, man, it was just going to be a huge part. Uh, we were able to come out and uh, get a couple good hits in early, and um, uh, then we had a little couple shaky, shaky tackling. Then uh, second half, we kind of zoned in back, back where we're at uh, and tackling well. Uh, shout out, shout out to the D line as well, man, uh, on the pursuit. Uh, they're out there getting out the stack, man, and help them get a lot of tackles out there in space. Then you're the uh, fir fir one, one you about your, first Mizzou guy in history to score a touchdown in the Super Bowl. How's that feel to have another piece of school history? Yeah, man, uh, I've been a part of school history, man. Uh, I've been a, in the same conversation as those guys, man. It's been some greats to come come through Mizzou, man, had an impact on this league and their respective franchises. So uh, just, even just being a part of them, man, is special, man. And uh, just, just thank God for that. Yeah, thank you. Last one here. Hey, what, what was the message at halftime going in? What was that message like in the locker room to get you guys turned around to pull this victory out? Yeah, man. Uh, essentially, just be us, but be us a little bit better. Um, we we left, left a couple plays out there we could have made, you know. <clears throat> end, up to, end up in explosive plays or touchdowns. So uh, we just had to come back, tackle a little bit better. Um, and also just, just bat a couple balls down, contest a couple more catches. And, uh, and that kind of was going to lead us in the, into a win. And so that's kind of the mindset was for us. And uh, we were able to execute that in the second half. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.